Happy Tuesday evening, everyone. I'm meteorologist Ashley Renee with your KLAX forecast. So tonight will be slightly warmer than it was last night. We'll have, have much warmer weather as we get into Wednesday and the later part of this week. And then we'll also start to have some showers moving in soon as well. I have more details about that with your full forecast coming up. ABC 31 News starts now. Tonight, a New Orleans comedian dead after being shot in a parking lot. And multiple areas of the state without running water following the Arctic blast. These stories and more start now. Good evening and welcome to ABC 31 News at 10. I'm Woodrow Wilkins. On Monday, on December 19th, Winfield Fire and Rescue, along with EMS, respond to a 911 call concerning an infant not breathing. City police arrested an 11-year-old sibling for second-degree murder. ABC 31 News reporter Keisha Swafford has a story on how the family is dealing with the death. The Todd family is still grieving over the loss of their five-month-old baby, Kylie Ray Vaughn. I don't know what happened that night, but in my heart, I truly believe that those adults know what happened to the baby. And the little 11-year-old baby that they're charging for this crime, I do not believe one bit that he did this. The Wynn Parish Coroner, Dr. James Lee, determined the infant had suffered blunt force trauma to the head and body area. I want justice for Detavius because my grandbaby is already dead. I feel as though she saved eight lives that night. And it doesn't pay to take another child that does not know anything Christina Todd says she does not want another child lost to the court system. The answer is for us to put our arms around him and to help him come out of this and let one of these adults pay for whatever happened inside of that house. He's a child. He is a child and he deserves justice. Kayla Dorsey says she is standing in the gap with the child arrested for the alleged murder. I'm devastated. I'm torn in two places right now. Uh, on one side of my family, we have to bury a child. And on the other side of the other family, we have to fight for a child that doesn't even understand what he's facing. Dorsey says she does not want to see a little boy go through this trauma. But as far as a child doing something like this, my heart tells me he didn't do it. A child can't physically abuse a baby to a point where they're dead. An 11-year-old does not have that much force. We'll continue to follow the story as we gather more information. Keisha Swafford, ABC 31 News, that works for you. The 11-year-old has been released from custody and is expected to appear in court again on January 11th. Four people sentenced in separate counterfeiting cases. Joshua Dorr sentenced to three years in prison, followed by three years of supervised release. Dorr was convicted in June of defrauding the U.S. government by making counterfeit money. In an unrelated case, Craig Jokino, Jeffrey Wilson, and Bo Bertrand were sentenced for their involvement in making counterfeit bills in 2021. Jokino and Wilson each pleaded guilty. Bertrand's plea was in exchange for information against the other two. Jokino is sentenced to 16 months in prison, Wilson 21 months, and Bertrand 10 months. All three will serve two years of supervised release. Authorities investigating the death of a child on Christmas Eve, four-year-old Mattias Abruhu died after he was found in the Amit River during a hiking trip on Saturday. According to the East Baton Rouge Sheriff's Office, Abruhu wandered off from his father. Extreme cold hitting parts of the country having a major impact on three Louisiana parishes. Residents have, no, have had no running water for days. By Christmas afternoon, barely a slow drip coming from Daryl David's faucet. Just hours earlier, it was completely dry, a problem that plagued East Feliciana's Bluff Creek community for days. This is the third day that we have not had water. It's something the city says was out of its control. Due to the intense cold weather we have, hey, a lot of people lines have frozen at their house. Pots of boiled water sitting on standby. Even worse, a bucket of pool water. 
just to get a flush down the toilet. According to local law enforcement, these circumstances are something they've dealt with before. Every time we have a disaster, a storm, or something coming up, they're going to do something foolishness. They, referring to... You know, they were blaming the water company for it, but the water company's been out every day working on their systems, and they have water everywhere. Some not, not so sure that's that. the case. I haven't seen it with my own eyes, and I've been up and down these roads. For a mile and a half around here, nobody has water. So it's not everybody's water lines that are froze up or broken or, or whatever. It's left residents with one clear answer. We need a new system. And that is exactly what they're getting. So the Rural Water System, they are upgrading it right now. Where you traveled a while ago, you probably seen some blue pipes laid out. They're actually running a new four-inch line to improve the water pressure out here. Larger pipes and different connections. Hopefully fixing a slow drip the Bluff Creek community doesn't want to deal with next Christmas. In East Feliciana, Callista Matrician, WBRZ News 2. Officials say work on the new system will continue over the next couple of months. A Louisiana comedian has been killed. Brandon Montrell, also known as Boogie B, killed in New Orleans. He was shot multiple times while sitting in a car in Rouse's supermarket parking lot. Police say he was not an intended victim. Montrell was widely known on TikTok. Meanwhile, the New Orleans Police Department requesting the public's assistance in identifying and locating two suspects wanted in his death. Diamonique Smith also wanted as a person of interest. She's not wanted on criminal charges, but officials believe she may have vital information regarding the case. If you know any information regarding the case or the whereabouts of any of these individuals, contact the New Orleans Police Department. Work on a new playground in Ball is complete, thanks in part to a grant from Lowe's. ABC 31 News' Joel Massey spoke with the mayor about what the park means. For my administration, myself and my aldermen, it means the world. This was a project that we all wanted to happen. Never knew how we would make it happen, but God had a plan. Ball Mayor Gail Wilking is excited about the new park in her town that will open soon. And I'm especially happy that this playground has the um, availability for all children, autistic special needs, and just all children of our community. That's a big thing for us in the town of Ball. It means a great deal. Wilking says places like this for children are important when a family is thinking about moving to an area. Our communities are growing. We actually, in the town of Ball, don't have a lot for children. So one of the things that families look for when they're moving to a community is the availability of activities for their children. The playground was made possible by a grant from Lowe's. We got $120,000 and our council approved another 50000 to go with it so that we could do the things that we wanted to do for our children. So yes, thanks to Lowe's, this miracle happened. Wilking says seeing the children looking at the new park makes it all worthwhile. I love seeing the children stop by here, Joel, and look at the playground and, Mama, when is it going to be opened? It's such an exciting time. Joel Massey, ABC 31 News that works for you. The playground will officially open on Saturday. Louisiana first professional paintball team ranks high worldwide. The New Orleans Hurricanes made history as they placed 11th in the world in the professional paintball league. The team won in the semi-pro division in 2021 and earned a spot in the professional division. Matches took place in the United States, but the team faced some international competition. Coach Mike Bianca says it was a heck of a season with some ups and some downs. Travel, a big problem over this last few weeks, especially this past weekend with severe weather in different parts of the country. Olivia Vidal reports from Louis Armstrong International, where travelers there as frustrated as any. Chaos, bedlam, mayhem. After the Christmas holiday, travelers are feeling anything but merry. Beyond frustrated. I got two small kids who 
are running around trying to figure out what they're going to do next, and it's it's it seems pretty bleak right now. Lines of people waiting to check into their flight only to find out it's canceled or delayed, and many say they've received little to no information on what to do next. It's been uh, hectic, and then trying to get our bags back from the airline so we can flip to a different airline. It's been a little bit chaos and hectic. Not a lot of information been passing around. Somebody's missing their luggage and they don't know where it is. I want to get my luggage so I can get out of here. According to FlightAware.com, more than 30 flights in and out of New Orleans were canceled Monday morning following the severe winter weather over the weekend, with more than 1,700 flights canceled across the United States. Airlines like Southwest and Delta experiencing the most issues across the system. Nothing frustrates me more than you know, waiting around for the bags that I just gave to them and they lost them and now I'm waiting. I donated about 12 hours yesterday here trying to get the bags. I'm here again today, maybe tomorrow we'll see. It's the last thing a tired traveler wants to deal with, but some are trying to stay positive. At this point, I'm just kind of going with the flow and hopefully we can make it there. <laughs> We're kind of just waiting at this point. How do I find my bag and how do I still have to go get a car, check into the Airbnb, and this is just like no help, no answers. This is supposed to be the big easy. I'm trying to take it easy. Now it's a waiting game for travelers as they sit and wait and wait to get home. In addition to the weather and weather, other factors include the ongoing pilot shortage affecting several airlines and a busy holiday travel time where more people are taking to the skies. Coming up on ABC 31 News at 10, meteorologist Ashley Renee with your Skywatch weather forecast. on Facebook. More ways to stay connected with KLAX TV. Lash Sensational Sky High from Maybelline, New York. Limitless length plus volume. Flex brush. Over 10 million sold. And dry Sky High Cosmic Black. Intense black pigments. Only from Maybelline, New York. When the hands that do the fixing need fixing. When the hands that do the caring need caring. That's a job for O'Keefe's working hands. It's America's number one selling hand cream and guaranteed relief for extremely dry, cracked hands. Also available in O'Keefe's Lip Repair. At Chevy, the holidays mean going places and doing things you love to do with friends and family. Visit your local Chevy dealer, and when you find your red tag, you find your deal. Then make the most of your time with the people who matter most. Find new moments, find new roads. Well-qualified buyers get 1.9% financing on all 2022 Silverado 1500 crew cab pickups, or find your red tag and get $2,500 total cash allowance on this Silverado with a 2.7 liter engine. Find new roads at your local Chevy dealer. Welcome back, everyone, and now let's go ahead and get into the forecast. So tonight will be a little warmer than it was for Monday night, and then we'll have much warmer weather for our Wednesday and through the early part of next week, but then we'll also start to have some showers moving in as well over the next couple of days. So overnight lows will be in the upper 20s to low 30s, mainly to low 30s range around central Louisiana, and winds will be from the southeast at 5 miles per hour. Now we're seeing 32 mainly on this map, but we see 28 in Winsboro, 35 in Opelousas, and 34 in Fort Polk. Now highs for tomorrow will be in the upper 60s, so again, that's a major warm-up than where the high was for today. About 20 degree temperature difference between between today and Wednesday. We'll still have mostly sunny skies. Winds will be from the south at 5 to 10 miles per hour, so that's going to be that warmer air moving into our region and bringing in some warmer air and more moisture into central Louisiana. So we're mainly seeing upper 60s on the map, but we do have 70 in Opelousas, 68 in Fort Polk, 69 in Natchitoches, and 60 
Lake's barrel. So our temperatures are going to be rising for the next few days, but our rain chances are also going up as well. So we're going to have a couple of troughs moving in, and that's going to help our rain chances to be on the rise for the next few days. So Wednesday morning, we'll start to see clouds moving in. Then we'll see a little break in the clouds. Then we'll have more moving in as we head into Wednesday night and overnight to Thursday morning. Now we're just expecting these showers to be moving in ahead of this frontal boundary that should be passing through the early morning hours of Friday. Now we're just expecting trace amounts starting us off on Thursday morning, but then rainfall amounts will be increasing. And between Thursday through Saturday, central Louisiana could possibly accumulate between one to three inches of rainfall. And looking at these totals, these colors right here, we can see that our rainfall amounts will be in about that two to three inches uh, amount. So again, that's a possible possibility for Thursday through Saturday. So now looking at the rain chance graphics, so we're seeing 60% chance for Thursday, 70 for Friday, 30 for Saturday. Saturday. Then we'll start to have some drier air moving in by late Saturday into Sunday. That'll give us a temporary relief from the rain. But then next system moves in early next week, and we're looking at 70% chance of showers to begin next week, first week of the year. So again, warmer weather on the way, but rain as well. So just keep your umbrella with you to end out this week and also starting off next week. Thanks for tuning in and have a happy Tuesday evening. Thanks, Ashley. We've got more to come after the break. You're watching ABC 31 News at 10. Follow us on Twitter. More ways to stay connected with KLAX TV. Here's Bob Giles, the 2022 Time Dealer of the Year. Hi, I'm Bob Giles, and I promise our team at the all-new Giles Hyundai will do everything possible to live up to the high standards that earned us this most prestigious honor. And now at Giles Hyundai during the Hyundai Getaway Sales Event, get some of the best incentives this year with the lowest financing and highest cash rebates available from the Time Dealer of the Year at Giles Hyundai in Alexandria. Spread joy faster this holiday season with Optima. Get 300 meg internet for as low as $30 a month, locked in for two years with no annual contract. Order now and get a $100 Visa prepaid card. Plus, Showtime is included for three months and your equipment is on us. Go from 300 meg internet to spreading joy faster than ever with Optimum. Call 866-9-OPTIMUM or visit Optimum.com. Get closer, go farther with Optimum. Welcome back. Lying on your resume could get most people fired from their jobs, but apparently that's not so in Congress. Here's a story about a New York representative newly elected who's not stepping down. ABC's Elizabeth Schulze has more. In a stunning reversal, New York Republican Congressman-elect George Santos now admits he embellished large parts of his resume. Santos speaking out to city and state NY Sky Ostriker, saying he's sorry, but won't step down. I'm not resigning. Mm -hmm. I have to leave Congress, Sky. It's going to be by a pink slip by the voters November of 2024. A New York Times investigation last week found Santos lied about everything from his education to his work on Wall Street to his family background. Santos telling voters his grandparents survived the Holocaust and fled to Brazil. My grandparents survived the Holocaust, so these regimes of socialism, Marxism, they don't work. He now says he's clearly Catholic, only referring to himself as Jew-ish. Santos also admitting he lied about working at Goldman Sachs and Citigroup and about graduating from Baruch College. Still, top Republicans are staying silent about the revelations as they rely on Santos as part of their new narrow majority in the House. Democrats pouncing. We need answers from George Santos. He appears to be a complete and utter fraud. Santos did not answer specific questions about his finances. Campaign finance disclosures raised questions about how his wealth quickly accumulated ahead of the 2022 campaign. Elizabeth Schulze, ABC News, Washington. A tragic house fire in Tennessee where authorities in Cumberland County believe several people, including two children, died in a house fire. Happened Monday. Officials say it happened in early morning hours. By the time firefighters arrived, the house was fully engulfed. Four adults and two children believed to have died there. Their identities have not been released. Foul play is not suspected. 
The historic Christmas weekend storm has now killed more than 50 people nationwide, more than half of those deaths in western New York. Crews are struggling to dig out the region around Buffalo from what authorities are calling a once-in-a-generation storm. ABC's Alexis Christophorus has the details. The death toll rising after the monster storm that pounded western New York and what Governor Kathy Hochul is calling the blizzard of the century. This blizzard is the one for the ages. Authorities saying the dead found in cars, homes, and snowbanks. Some died while shoveling snow. Others when first responders couldn't respond in time to medical emergencies. Neighbors turning to one another for life-saving help. I'm coming. Buffalo resident Shakira Autry took in 64-year-old Joseph White, Saturday after hearing his calls for help outside her home. I found him screaming for help. When I looked out the window, he was getting blowed up and down the street. It was out of control. These residents opening up their home to visitors from half a world away after a knock on their door. They said, we're part of a tour group from South Korea and we have 10 people in our vehicle. And I said, get all of them inside our house right now. Roads still impassable, forklifts used to clear abandoned vehicles, and the city's airport shuttered until at least Wednesday. As police were stuck elsewhere, looters got to work, smashing store windows and stealing merchandise. Law enforcement's been working on life-saving. We have the worst storm probably in our lifetime and maybe in the history of the city and our community, and, and to see this happening is just terrible. The historic storm throwing a knockout punch to holiday travel. Southwest Airlines hit the hardest, with at least 70% of its flights canceled Monday. The Department of Transportation says it will examine whether those cancellations were controllable. Alexis Christophorus, ABC News, New York. It's that time of year when people start thinking about their New Year's resolution, and a popular, popular one is to lose weight. But do programs do any good? In this edition of Your Health, ABC 31 News doctor on call, Christy Reisinger, looks at whether those sometimes expensive programs really work. Hi, and welcome to another edition of Your Health with Dr. Christy. If you're simply overwhelmed with the aspect of trying to count calories and figure out the food that you will eat, maybe a commercial weight loss program is a good fit for you. I like these programs because they're convenient, provide the food, and provide a lot of support with them. The con is the price. But there was a good study in a reputable journal called the Annals of Internal Medicine in 2015 that compared many commercial weight loss programs. At 12 months, the two commercial programs that had the most weight loss were Weight Watchers and Jenny Craig. I would caution people against using programs with very low calorie diets or those that use shakes or liquids for multiple meals a day. There will definitely be a rapid weight loss associated with these diets, but people will have a lot of trouble keeping the weight off for any length of time after this diet is stopped. Thanks for joining me. In our next report, Dr. Reisinger looks at mobile apps and other routines that can help encourage weight loss. If you'd like to hear more from her, check out her YouTube channel. Now go away, we've got more to come as ABC 31 News continues. Stay connected with KLAX ABC 31. Nose was broken two places, palate broken five, knocked 11 teeth out. I don't remember the accident itself. My injury literally stopped me from being able to walk. He's a person, not just a lawyer, he's a person. Without Mr. Brian Coopero, I'd probably be in a wheelchair, actually. Brian cares what happens to you. When I needed help, he was there. He'd done it right. It's like the Avengers have arrived. I'm here to have some fun. The buzziest late show on Hollywood Boulevard, Jimmy Kimmel Live. Is there anything he won't brag about? Actor Bill Nye, known for such films as Love Actually and The Best Exotic Marigold Hotel. This year, after more than 150 acting credits, he's favored to receive his first ever Academy Award nomination. David Daniel talked with him about living. Mr. Williams, a little on the frosty side, perhaps. Not too much fun in laughter. Brother like church. Bill Nye plays a British civil servant desperate to change things in living. It's more wonder I didn't notice what I was becoming. Dad, you're right. 
if only to be alive for one day. But I realize it. I don't know how. And I grew up in that atmosphere of post-war Britain, and I'm 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 fascinated by what they call Englishness, but I'm sure there's characters of that kind in every culture. But we always take the rap for it. A modest but complex system of manners which uh, everybody was, you know, was imprisoned by during that period particularly. Um, but I find there's something heroic about it as well. Director Oliver Hermanis and screenwriter Kazuo Ishiguro had Nye in mind for the role from the start. It was this exploration that he and I had to do to kind of, in a way, shrink him because he is Bill Nye. It was kind of fun for him to play this everyman who has a very little voice and a, and a very small life and, you know, is not necessarily very funny. Mr. Rusbridger, we call him the hover man because he just hovers his pen over the page with the intention of doing work but never actually doing work. <laughs> Amy Lee Wood plays a former colleague who Mr. helps Hart. him find his way. She's just everything that I want to be. You know, she's so present. She's so dynamic. She knows what she wants. She's deeply kind whilst also being assertive. This man, who until yesterday, was living a shell of an existence. And I so very much do not wish to do so. In Hollywood, I'm David Daniel. A Los Angeles jury has found rapper and singer Tori Lanez guilty of the 2020 shooting of fellow rapper Megan Thee Stallion. Lanez had pleaded not guilty to three charges, assault with a semi-automatic firearm, carrying a loaded, unregistered firearm in a vehicle, and discharge of a firearm with gross negligence. The jury convicted him on all counts. Megan accused Lanez of shooting her in the foot after an argument. Lanez did not take the stand as defense during the nine-day trial. The jury of five men and seven women began deliberating on Thursday, and a verdict was reached Friday afternoon. Lanez faces up to 22 years in prison and possible deportation back to his native Canada. For the latest on what's happening in Hollywood, here's ABC's Jason Nathanson. Country music artist Zach Bryan dropped a live album called All My Homies Hate Ticketmaster on Christmas Day. At the same time, he put out a statement on Instagram complaining about high ticket prices to live shows, writing that working class people should be able to afford tickets. Ticketmaster has faced criticism in recent weeks, especially after the botched rollout of tickets for superstar Taylor Swift's upcoming Errors Tour. The company did not respond to Brian's album or post. Jennifer Lopez decked out her home for the holidays with a special theme this year. The 53-year-old singer shared photos from her holiday celebrations in the latest installment of her on the JLO newsletter. She centered her Christmas theme around the idea of the hummingbird. Lopez writing that to her, hummingbirds are messengers of love and a sign everything is going to be okay. Britney Spears and her husband had a merry Britmas, spending the day in nature. Sam Asghari, a fitness trainer and actor, shared a video and photo of himself and Spears meditating while on a hike. He wrote on Instagram, My wife is really becoming a meditation guru, and I love it. Merry Britmas to you all. Celebrating birthdays today, Good Time star John Amos turns 83. Actor Timothy Chalamet is 27. That's what's happening in Hollywood. I'm Andy Field, ABC News. Sports is next on ABC 31 News at 10. Stay with us. we all need to take care of ourselves and support our immune system and we want to be more health conscious but sometimes it feels like making sure you get all the nutrients we need is a full-time job and is tough on your wallet <laughs> who has time or money to invest in complex and inconvenient not to mention unpleasant wellness routines well that's why i love goalie nutrition they make it easy to get all the nutrients that you need and one of my favorites are the apple cider vinegar gummies ACV has been used for centuries as a remedy for digestion, gut health, and appetite. And with Goalie, all you do is pop a couple of these and you are good to go. 
And another one that I can't get enough of is the Oshawa gummies. All you need, and we all need, is a little help relaxing sometimes, right? Well, these are packed with KSM 66 Ashwagandha, which helps reduce cortisol, also known as the stress hormone. <sighs> so relaxing. And here is another awesome one. Check these out. Super green gummies. One serving has more vitamin A than 62 Brussels sprouts, more iron than eight cups of broccoli, and more zinc than 26 cups of kale. Finally, something green you can love. Right now, we're offering 52% off of three packs of these amazing gummies at localsteals.com. Take advantage of this delicious way to support your health. It's an awesome deal, but trust me, it will go fast. Download the KLAX weather app for your smartphone or tablet. I'm calling in regards about my mother, and I'm here, and I just want to thank you because it saved my mother's life yesterday. Um, and I'd like to know the names of the people that came in and saved her so I could call and thank them. And she's doing fine. It's a wonderful thing. Thank you. When you fall and cannot get up, an accident can turn into a tragedy. But with Life Alert, one touch of a button can get you help fast. Life Alert saves a person from a catastrophe every 10 minutes. Life Alert is a lifesaver. If it weren't for Life Alert, I wouldn't be sitting here today. For a free Life Alert brochure, call 1-800-240-5124. Call now, 1-800-240-5124. For a free brochure, call 1-800-240-5124. All right, we head to New Orleans, the Pelicans at home against the Indiana Pacers. Zion Williamson sitting this one out. We pick up with action in the second quarter. Najee Marshall, three-pointer, 38-23 Pelicans. Still in the second, the Pacers' Miles Turner knocks down a three. Pelicans still up by 17. Now in the third, Pelicans up 76-53. to C.J. McCollum shakes his defender and hits the jumper. There's a look at C.J. McCollum again with a long three, stretching the lead. New Orleans goes on to win it, 113-93. The Pelicans now at 21-12, and are second in the Western Conference, and lead the Southwest Division by a half game over Memphis. One player is ejected and another out with a concussion in Monday Night Football. Los Angeles Chargers safety Duran James Jr. ejected from the game against the Indianapolis Colts after this first quarter hit on Ashton Dullin. Hit him in the head and neck area with the crown of his helmet. James was flagged for unnecessary roughness on the play and Doolin was ruled out for the remainder of the game with a concussion. Now let's take another look at that Pelicans game. Roll it. Right back out. Najee with Billy. Not a bad pass. Nice. Line. What a bullet from Najee. What a pass. It, the thing is, it's contagious. That's the Pelicans' Najee Marshall with the spectacular one-hand dish to Willie Hernan Gomez for the lay-in. And that's your play of the day. We'll be right back. Like us on Facebook. More ways to stay connected with KLAX TV. Flashing lights. See them, and you know to go slow. Now we put that same technology in the palm of your hand with Lizard Flare. It's the high-tech safety flare with no flame. Lizard Flare uses 15 high-intensity LED strobes that can be seen nearly a mile away and a powerful magnet that sticks to your car without exiting the vehicle. Look, flares are dangerous, but Lizard Flare won't let you down. A dead battery, an empty gas tank. With Lizard Flare, help is on the way. Lizard Flare Pro has an ultra-bright flashlight, too. Get your Lizard Flare for only $9.99, but wait, Lizard Flare may be discontinued. Due to rising costs, Lizard Flare is stopping manufacturing effective immediately. There is a strict limit of two vehicle packs per order. Call now. This may be your last chance, so call 1-800-604-4147. That's 1-800-604-4147, or visit lizardflare.com now.
If you need to do something to feel okay to drive, you're not okay to drive. Don't drive buzzed. Thank you for tuning in to ABC 31 News at 10. Good night. At Chevy, the holidays mean going places and doing things you love to do with friends and family. Visit your local Chevy dealer, and when you find your red tag, you find your deal. Then make the most of your time with the people who matter most. Find new moments, find new roads. Find your red tag and get 2,500 total cash allowance on all 2022 Silverado pickups with a 2.7 liter turbo engine. Part of Louisiana Super Chevy Dealers. Download the KLAX weather app for your smartphone or tablet. For your smartphone or tablet.